Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just scared some folks right by the speakers talking. Praise the name of our God. It is that time. It is time for our fifth night of the porch revival. And we are looking forward to another high time in the Lord on tonight. We're looking for the Lord to come to preach out of this woman of God tonight. That who may hear, whosoever will come, let him come. Amen. We've had some powerful preaching of the last past four nights. And tonight we are expecting even greater on tonight that you will hear ye the word of the Lord on this evening. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. For those of you in your class, honk your horns for me one time. Amen, there we go, there we go. Amen, 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 amen. Again, giving honor to God who is ahead of my life, to his son Jesus, with the precious Holy Spirit, to everyone that who's everyone in the community, all of my father's children, all of you other than on Facebook. And I want to tell you tonight, that I have been getting so many messages and people coming to talk to me and said, Pastor, I am so glad that you got this porch revival. It has been blessing my soul. And this is coming from people who don't come to church. Amen. I mean, people who don't want to come to church. They're like, Pastor, I don't know. The Lord's been talking to me. Well, we want the Lord to talk to you on the night. We want the Lord to speak to your heart, speak to your mind. We want you to get the word deep down on the inside that you can be renewed in your mind where you can change the way you think and change changing the way you talk change the way you act how even change where you go amen amen hallelujah so on this evening what we're going to do tonight we're going to start off with our scripture we have another that deacon michael amen. <laughs> amen we're going to have deacon michael to do the uh, prayer do do the uh, scripture and when we're going to have minister uh, Chandler to do our our prayer, Amen. And then followed by her will be some singing. We got a few folks that's gonna sing: Mother Harold, Mother Green, uh, Minister uh, Maxwell, and Sister Michael. They're gonna come up and make a little quick little uh, ad hoc choir, real quick. Not an ad hoc choir. It is a they all part of the choir, Amen. We want them to come and sing down heaven, Amen. And then the next voice after that you will hear will be that of. Uh, Pastor Dr. Dejambra J. Robinson. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Amen. Amen. Pastor, uh, what's the name of the church again? First Baptist Church in Chala. First Baptist Church in Chala. Amen. 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 She has been here many times before. She yes. can preach and will preach the unadulterated gospel of the Lord. Right. Amen. 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 Brother Michael, you can mark. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. We are out in the outside, but that's just like church. We Amen. Hear the word. Amen. Right. We're going to read from the um, King James Version, Psalms 120. Yes. Okay. In my discretion, I cried unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And he heard me. Yes. Deliver my soul mm -hmm. from those lying lips. Hallelujah. And yes. for those deceitful tongues, mm -hmm. what shall be given unto me? Yes, thee, or what shall be done mm -hmm. unto those false tongues? Mm -hmm. Sharp arrow of a mighty with the coal of jungle. Whom is me that I dwell, that I sojourn in Misa? Yes, that I dwell in the tent of the cowboy. My soul hates long dwellers, which he, that they hate peace. I am for peace, but when they speak, they are for war. And may the Lord have a blessing to the reading of the word. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To all of you out there, we say greetings. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before your throne. Yes. Hallelujah. We ask you to look down on us and have mercy upon our souls. Please, God. God, we know that you are the Lord, yes, thy you are. God. 
Yes, you Hallelujah. Are. And there besides, there is no other. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. how you watch over this revival. Yes. Porch revival all this week. Yes. We thank you for the souls that came to you yes. on this week. Yes, Lord. We thank you for all the people that heard your word. Yes. God, and we thank you for the calls that we got from people out of town that heard your word, God. Yes, God. We you. praise you for it right now, Lord God. Yes. Lord, and we ask you to look down on everyone, even in their homes. Yes. Hallelujah. Look down on the ones, God. On Facebook, wherever they are, whoever sharing the word, God, we ask you to look down on them, Lord. Meet every need, God. Yes. Cause you are the Lord that God can do it all, Lord. Yes. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for this hour and this opportunity, God. Yes. Hallelujah to spread the gospel, God. Even on the outside, to the people in the homes, God. On the porches in the communities, God. Yes. We thank you, Lord. Because you are the Savior of the world. Yes. God, and we thank you, Lord, for giving us that opportunity. Hallelujah. And he's sick among us, God. We ask you to heal right now. Right now. Deliver and set free, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we know there is freedom in you. Yes. God, and we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Want to think they don't have an opportunity, God. Yes. Lord. Let them know, God, that you have, you know, the plans that you have for their lives, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak to their hearts. Speak to their minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless the speaker of the hour, God. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. You already Jesus. anointed her. Yes. You already prepared her, God. Yes, God. Let it come from power with on high. Please, God. In Jesus' name we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. 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 We're going to have a few. Come on, Miss Mother Maxwell. Come on up here. Come on, we're going to get y'all quiet. Come on down here. Yeah, come on down here. Come on down here. Amen. Whoever going to sing a nice little song? Amen. Sing down the power of the Lord. Amen. Sing down the rain. Sing down the rain. Sing down that holy rain. Oh, send down the rain, send down the rain, send down that holy rain. Oh, we need the rain. Oh, we need that holy rain. Oh, we need the rain. Oh, yeah. Jambra J. Robinson. Amen. Give a hand. Amen. Hi. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let me go ahead and get ready. Get this set up right here. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Get it? Amen. Got it? We got it. Yes. Okay. 
Amen. Amen. Can you hear me okay? They can hear you. All right. Amen. Father, just thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made. Your word says that we shall be rejoiced and be glad in it. We command our souls today to make its boast in the Lord so that the humble shall hear thereof and it shall make them glad. I invite you, the community of God, to magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For we know that whenever we call upon the name of the Lord, that he hears us in our distress and delivers us from each and every one of our fears. We command our souls to make its boast in the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. So that the humble can hear and it will make them glad. Yes. God, we ask right now that you would grant us the serenity to Please. accept the things Please. that you cannot change. Give us the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Yes. We bless you, oh God, in this place. I want to give honor to the pastor. We ask that you would bless this church. We ask that you would bless the people, that you would bless his wife. Amen. We ask that you would bless the congregation. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. we pray yes. and give you thanks. We yes. say hallelujah, hallelujah and amen. Amen. Now, our theme, okay, let me use my cell phone amen. to hold the pages of the Bible down. Amen. The theme is get what God has for you. And leave the rest alone. alone. Yes. Get what God has for you mm -hmm. and leave the rest alone. This is coming from Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. And it says, but seek first mm -hmm. the kingdom of God well. and his righteousness and all these things mm -hmm. shall be added to you. Mm -hmm. What things? Right? We want to know what things. Then he says, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Yes. All right, so I just want to talk about the title. Amen. We need to get what we need to get from God Amen. and leave the rest alone. Amen. Now, here's the thing. God, thank you for this word. Thank you for this pastor. Thank you for this porch revival. Thank you for this community. Yes. Because what I want to tell you today is that um, when I thought about this and I've read the scriptures over again, I read them from a psychological and a spiritual you know, perspective. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to say to you all is that we have to get what God wants us to have. Amen. Amen. So by way of Jesus, Jesus is talking a lot in this particular scripture. Mm -hmm. In Matthew chapter 6, he talks to his, his disciples mm -hmm. and he says, take heed that you do not do your deeds mm -hmm. to be seen by Amen. people. Yes, yes. See, we live in a place of social media, uh -huh. and it's all about likes. Yes. Some people don't even have righteousness, uh -huh. but they will act and they will mimic righteousness mm -hmm. for the likes mm -hmm. to be seen by charitable, by to see their charities be done in front of people. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing about it is God knows your heart. Right? Yes. He says, eyes have not seen, nor have ears heard, nor have they entered into the heart of man to understand what God's purpose and plan is, the, is for their life. Mm -hmm. He also said that he searches the heart of men right. mm -hmm. to see whether or not their deeds are worthy in righteousness of him. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when your heart is not matching with your mouth, mm -hmm. uh -oh. come on, all right now. Because a lot of times, we have a yes in our mouths, mm -hmm. but we have a no in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, God don't like that. Come on, now, He says, it. you can't be straddling the fence. You yes. see, that's what adds to the confusion. Yes. That's why we have to get, that's why we can't get what we need to get from God. Yes. Because we're living in a state of confusion. Yes. We have a yes in our mouth. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, mm -hmm. Pastor, I'll do it. Yes, missionary, I'll do it. Yes, I'll show up. Yes, I'll be there. But if it ain't no likes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Talk to them. Soon as they find out that it ain't no lights. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't want to do the work. Yes. They don't want to do the work. And so, and so what ends up happening, let me bring my voice down because the mics are loud enough, right? Okay. And so they don't want to do the work. And so as soon as they see that there's no lights, they have a no in their hearts. And what God wants 
what God wants for us to be able to get everything that we need to get from God, yes. we have to match yes. our yes in our mouth uh -huh. and a yes in our heart. Yes. We have to match a yes in mm -hmm. our or a no. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. We have, if you if let your yay mm -hmm. be yay yes. and let your nay be nay. See, God wants consistency. Mm -hmm. And as long as we can do what God says that we can do, thank you. Mm -hmm. As long as we can do what God says that we can do. He, he says he wants us to be consistent. He says because anytime you straddle the fence, you are lukewarm. Yes, yes. And I will throw you out. Yes. See, the thing about it is psychologically, God is throwing a lot of people out. Yeah. See, it's not about throwing them out of the church because the church is an institution. Yes. But when you talk about the ecclesial body, yes. he will throw you out of his body. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And so, and so he says, don't do the deed. So this is what Jesus is telling his disciples. Then he teaches them how to pray. So first yes. of all, your actions don't need to be for the world. Well. Because friendship with the world is enmity with God. Well. And so what he says is that what you do, do it from your heart. Yeah. He actually says, and I'm, I can't get off of this point, but he says, in, in by way of Paul, he says that every, that God loves a cheerful giver. Yeah, but, yes. Right? If you're not going to give givingly or give cheerfully, mm -hmm. then you might as well keep it. Just say no. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh, Letitia, he wouldn't go grab it. Go grab okay. It. And so, and so, and so, and so he says, he says these things because you have to have your heart upright. Yeah. Okay. So he tells you that first you got to have introspection. Then he tells his disciples to pray. And he tells them how to pray. Yes. So you have to have a yes in your heart, a yes in your mouth, before you can even pray. You have to be in alignment in order to get all that God has for you. Yes. It's not about tangible things. It's not about getting a car. It's not about getting a house. It's not about getting... Because here's Come the thing. On, when it. you get those things, if you got a, if you confused in your mind, you won't even enjoy it. Come on. This is why Paul says, I've learned how to be a base. Well, and I've learned how to abound. I've learned how to be satisfied and be content yes. with whatever state Come on that I'm in. Come because on I preach. have a yes in my mouth. I have a yes in my heart. Yes. I pray to God and I'm in alignment yes. with Him. Hallelujah. Right? Yes. And so when he says this, he says, listen, this is how you should pray. Mm -hmm. You should acknowledge yes, that amen. the Father yes. is in heaven. Yes, right. That's right. Come on, preacher. Not here on earth. Come on. That the Father, this is this is about boundaries. See, in order for us to get what we want to get from God, we got to establish and, and recognize very healthy boundaries. Yes. He says, the boundary is, I am God. Yes. And you are not. Come on. Come on. That's the relationship. Amen. Amen. And I'm greater in you yes. than I am in the world. Yes, sir. And so that's the boundary that we have to recognize. So he says the first thing you have to do is recognize that the Father uh -huh. is in heaven. That's right. And that his name is hallowed. Hallelujah. And it should be hallowed in us. That's right. Because he says that I am whatever I am. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and not beneath. He Come says on. I am. So you have to hallow the name of God. Hallelujah. You have to hallow the name of God within yourself. Yes. Yes. Because your body is the temple of Come the on, Holy Spirit. No. Come on, and so preach. therefore you have to be hollow and that means it should be echoing in your mind Come echoing on. in your soul echoing that's why it says men should always pray because the name of God should always be in your mouth always yes. be in your heart always be in your soul and it can't be there if you ain't in alignment if you don't agree with what the spirit of the Lord is saying yes Amen. Amen. And so he says, he says, he says, he says, you have to say, hallowed be your name. And also recognize that there is a kingdom. Yes. Uh-huh. See, right here we have a nation. Yes. But we belong to a kingdom. Praise him. And the kingdom is not just physical. This is why he says, on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Because the kingdom of heaven is your mindset. Yes. It's how you look at things. It's your perspective. And we as believers of God, we see tragedy. Mm -hmm. We see tragedy. We see trauma. We see all of these things that have happened to us.
God through the lens of God. This is why we are victorious in God. This is why the enemy doesn't have anything in us. This is why we're not defeated. Amen. 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 Because we belong to the kingdom. Well. So every day, because the enemy wants to distract us. He wants to make take our eyes off of the prize. He wants to make sure that we denounce our citizenship to the kingdom. Because we get so distracted and we want lies. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Talk to him. And he says, please your father in heaven first. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the enemy tries to come and distract us from being citizens of the kingdom. Yes. The mindset of Christ. Mm -hmm. Paul says it this way. Let this mind yes. be in you, you that well. was also in first Christ. Yes. First Christ. Yes. The word of God incarnate in the flesh. Yes. First Christ and then Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And so he says, and so he says that let your kingdom come. Let your will be, be done. done. Yes. One of the things I'm talking about, Pastor, when I talk about Jesus is that I'm talking about how when he talks that he says he's always doing his father's his business. business. That's right. That's right. right. And so he says, let your will be done. Be done. Yes. Each and every one of us at the time mm -hmm. of conception yes. had a will uh -huh. to be done. Yes. Here it is. I have. I know the plans mm -hmm. that I have for you. Yes. They are to prosper you and to and to bring you to an uh, expected end and to bring you a hope and bring you a future yes. and not to harm you. He even says that I knew you before you were even in the womb. Hallelujah. So therefore, every time we're at the moment of conception, at the moment that mothers say yes, yes, Hallelujah to God, yeah. And I'm talking to the community. Yes. Because we talk about equity, right? Yes, we talk right. about equity. But I just got to say, Mary said yes to God. Yes. Because Jesus had a purpose. Jesus had a plan. There was a plan. He said, I'm about my father's business, which means he knew his purpose. When you know your purpose, there ain't no devil in hell that can take it away from you. You say, I'm about the kingdom and my father's business. Yes. But the enemy, he wants to distract us. He wants to distract us. He wants to take us off of the path. He wants to take us off of the plan. He wants to get in our mind. He wants to whisper little things in the Hallelujah. midnight hour. Because Hallelujah. he wants to bring tragedy and trauma. And trauma changes your perspective. See? Yes. Uh-huh. You got to realize that when people have been traumatized, they see everything different. Yes, that's the truth. It's almost like trying to put on our eyeglasses and somebody doesn't... Put, rub them in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> you can see, but you can't see clearly. That's right. That's right. You're not seeing people right. Right. And, but when God comes and he comes in the kingdom, he says, out on earth, on earth, in the earth, as it is in heaven. Mm. That means I'm aligning myself with mm. God. Yes. And now he's taking off the glasses that have been cracked and, and, and taking them and changing the way that I see them. Right, right. And so he says, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to you're it. All right, so he you're says, right. Now he says, give us this day our daily bread. Yeah. Right? Which means that God is a provider. Right. Okay? And he says, give us this day uh, and forgive our debts. Yes. As we forgive our debts. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. We don't like that part of the prayer. No, we don't. <laughs> 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 I like the word trespass. Yeah. <laughs> because when you trespass, uh -huh. you overstep your boundaries. Yeah. So we have to forgive the fact that we have been oversteppers. Yes, come on. The same way we have to forgive people for overstepping. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's called grace. That's called grace. Hallelujah. Right? Hallelujah. And so he says, give so he says. And then he says, do not lead us uh -huh. into temptation. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you just a little bit about the psychology of temptation. Mm -hmm. When something happens to us, we tend to dwell on it. Yes. And even in our resistance of mm -hmm. it, we're still dwelling on it. Mm -hmm. We have to realize that every day mm -hmm. something is going to happen because the Bible says that in this life, mm -hmm. you will have trouble. 
That's right. You that's will right. have tribulation. Yes, you will. It will come to you. It will but come. Jesus says that by way of the word of that's God, right. and if you get in alignment with him, he says, don't worry about the trouble. Yes. I'll overcome it all. That's right. See, if we can follow Jesus, then we can overcome the temptation. Yes. We can overcome the trouble. Hallelujah. Because the more you try to resist it, yes. the more it gets entangled in you. And so, mm. therefore, if we can say, you know what? That's life. That's right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> It took me a long time, uh -huh. but I'm starting to find out that yes. a lot of what I've been going through is uh, regular. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody got a story. Amen. It may not be my story, Amen. but everybody got a, a story. story. Amen. So me having a story, just tell them, welcome to the club. Amen. 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 Welcome. Amen. Amen. There you go. Come on in. Amen. Everybody in here got a story. story. Amen. Amen. We all got one. Amen. It's regular. Amen. Amen. Mother, you with me? <laughs> so don't lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, from getting stuck in that mindset, mm -hmm, in that mm -hmm. hurt, in that, in that, 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 that perspective of people mm -hmm. thinking that everybody is against you all the time. Yes, yes. They ain't even worried about you. They worried about their own story. Amen, amen. They trying to figure out how to navigate it. Matter of fact, amen. if you testify about it, maybe y'all can work together and get through it. Amen, amen. I ain't going to get on how they don't cancel ahead. testimony services in a lot of the churches. We got to sing whatever the praise team want to sing. <laughs> I remember when we used to go, we used to go, uh, we used to go to, to, to devotional service and the people could be able to get up and say, I give honor to God who's the head of my life and uh -huh. be able to say whatever they got to say and do whatever uh -huh. they got to do and talk about whatever they needed to talk about. Mm -hmm. And see, here's the thing. What happens is that Sigmund Freud, that's a uh, psychoanalyst and a psychologist, he says that that is the talking cure. Mm -hmm. See, when we shut down people from being able to talk in church mm -hmm. and be able to tell how God has brought them over and be able to sing their song, you're robbing them mm -hmm. of the ability to talk things mm -hmm. out because mm -hmm. God gave us in the beginning was the what? The word. Yeah. And we have yeah. to use the words to articulate yeah. how we're feeling mm -hmm. because you don't know what you're going through because it's regular. See, the devil wants to beat us up. He wants to make sure that we feel like we're the only ones going through something. But if somebody else can stand up and say, hey, I'm going through something too, then you realize you ain't the only one that got a story. Amen. 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 God. Amen. I almost can't take the Lord God. You're going to have to let me go in a minute. He Hallelujah. says, deliver us from that mindset Hallelujah. of thinking that we're the only people that are going through. Deliver us from the mindset of worrying about what somebody else is going to mm -hmm. say about us or whether or not they're going to like us. Yes. Be about your father's business. Yes. Amen. 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 Work out your own soul salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Why? Uh -huh. Why? Why? Because yours yes. is the glory. Hallelujah. And because yours Hallelujah. is the honor. Yes. Right? And so Jesus teaches his disciples to pray. So we got it. We have to align ourselves and uh -huh. then we got to pray. Yes. Then he continues to go because I'm getting down here. And he continues to go and he tells us a few principles. Yes. Now, here's the thing. Psychologically, mm -hmm. let's listen to this psychologically. He says, if you forgive men their trespasses, yes. your heavenly father uh -huh, will. will forgive you. Yes. Now, that's all in your own mind. Yes. Because if you can't release nobody else. Uh -huh. Come on now. It's possible. Yes. That is because you ain't releasing yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, preacher. It's very possible. Yes. He says, if you so what you know the other scripture where he says, whatever things you retain yes. will be retained yes. unto you. Yes. All of that is in your own head. Yes. This is why Paul says. Be ye transformed by, by the, the renewing, renewing of your of mind. mind. Because all of the stuff that you've been holding, you need to bring it to the cross and leave it there. Yeah, yeah. Get what you need to get from God and leave, leave the, the rest, rest alone. alone. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Work it, work it, work it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because here's the rule. Uh -huh. You reap what you sow. So if you don't forgive <laughs> men their trespasses, you then you hold in yourself hostage. Yes. All right. Holding on to what they said to you. Yes. Holding on to what they did to you. And they shouldn't have treated me like that. Not a, and, 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 and. <laughs> Holding yourself down. Yeah. Psychologically. Yeah. You can't get nothing from God like that. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no. Hallelujah. You'll get what you sow. Yeah. Hallelujah. You'll get what you sow. Yeah. That's the rule. Yeah. Whatever a man soweth, <laughs> that right. therefore he shall, he shall reap. Ain't That's nobody right. else reaping that for That's you. Right. That's right. That's word. That's word. Thank you, Jesus. So he tells them, he tells them about fasting. Uh huh. Y'all be careful with fasting. That's right. I'm just saying this for the women because I have to. I have to do my fast. I can't. I can't do a shock fast because I like to eat after the fast is over and it goes all right in the. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't no prayer gonna take that off. That's that. You reap what you sow. That's gonna be right there. <laughs> Blow your horn, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but fasting, fasting, because uh -huh. this is the type of fast that that God. Has mm -hmm. said, I think it's way by way of Isaiah. He said something. Uh -huh. He said, "What kind of fast do That's I really right. want you to That's do?" Right. He says, "I want you to unloose the shackles of the of the oppressed and That's things right. like that." Now, here's what I've learned from the Imam, from the Muslim, from the Islamic culture. He says that when they go through Ramadan, uh -huh. it's not about what goes into your mouth. Mm, what comes out? It's about what comes out mm -hmm. of your mouth. Mm -hmm. So fasting is not about food. Mm -hmm. right. Fasting is about discipline. Mm -hmm. Fasting is about watching what you say. It, because well. the Bible mm -hmm. says that out of the heart, That's what does the mouth, mouth speak. speaks. That's right. And so you have to, when you're fasting, it's about cleansing your heart. That's it's right. about disciplining your mind. Yes. It's about making sure that you're in alignment with God. Amen. And so you abstain yes. from something. You abstain from the lights. You abstain from worrying about what people think about you. You kind of push back. So that you don't say something because here's the thing, life and death and is in the power of, of your tongue. tongue. Yes. So when you fast, it's about cleansing my heart. Search yes. me, oh God. Yes. See yes. if there's anything in me that's not like you. Purge yes. me. Purge. Cleanse me. Do this. Do what I got. Pray. Your kingdom come. Yes. You preaching. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So don't be the type. I ain't eat today. Go eat something. Amen. Because your yes and your no is not matching up. Amen. 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 <laughs> Please eat. Amen. Take get a salad and some fruit. <laughs> Just don't eat the chicken this week, okay? <laughs> he talks about us laying up treasure on earth. Yes. This stuff, every day, my phone gets older. As soon as you buy a car, as soon as you take it off the lot, it ain't worth what you... Come that's on. right, that's right. It ain't that's even right. worth what you bought it for. It ain't worth You can turn right back around in five minutes and say, I don't want this car no more. They're going to give you half of what you signed up for. That's right. Don't, don't, don't invest in the things and the cares of this world. Set well, your treasures up for heaven. That's right. Just be thankful. Yes. There's a song, though you may not try. A great big Cadillac. Come on, y'all can say this. I know we redeem questions. Gates the white wall. And TV antenna in the back. Amen, amen. What does it say? You may not have a car at all. But remember 
brothers and sisters, you can still stand tall. What are you going to do? Just be thankful. Come on. <laughs> for what you got. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just be thankful. Just be thankful. That's right. That's all. That's all. So don't worry about the treasures in heaven, he tells yes. me. Because you can't serve two masters. You can't be worried about the world and still be trying to be in the kingdom. You can't be bipolar. Yes. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay? So this always says, so let's go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. So then on um, verse 31. Mm-hmm. He gives us some instruction. Yes. Now, before that, he talks about how God provides for the lilies mm -hmm. of the field. And he, mm -hmm. so you got to trust God. And it's hard to trust when you have trauma. Amen. Yes. Our Lord have mercy for real. Mm -hmm. It's hard to trust when you've been hurt before. Yes. All these beautiful cars and all these potholes in the city of Rochester. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with the tax money. <laughs> <laughs> because I just got an alignment. Uh -huh. My yeses were just lined up. Uh -huh. And I was traveling down the road. Yeah. And there was a boom. <laughs> Out of alignment. <laughs> and now, when you get the boom, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. If there's anything down the road, I'm talking to you in life. Come on. Uh huh. That's damaged or rocky or mm -hmm. it seemed like the whole thing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. And it gets looser. Yeah, that's right. And it gets looser. Yeah. And you hit another hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get mad. Amen. Yes, Come on, that's right. I'm telling you what trauma does. Amen. You get mad. Mm -hmm. Now you're angry all the time. That's now right. you don't want to even go and do the work. Yeah. Ah, because on the way to work, you got to hit all these holes all over again. Amen. Come on. I'm trying to tell you something. Amen. So you ask God, you say, God, give me another route. Tighten up my alignment. <laughs> Fix me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the potholes I really can't do too much about. Mm -hmm. Everybody hit them. Amen, amen, amen. You and the word right Everybody there. Everybody hit them. Everybody hit them. Any journey, any way you go, going in or out of wherever you're going, everybody done hit a pothole. Amen. In this life, that's right. In this life. Hallelujah. You say, God, the world is full of potholes. Mm -hmm. I just need you to be the master mechanic. I need you to fix me. I need you to realign me. I need you to tighten me up. I need you to do what you need to do so that I can make sure that when I do hit one, it don't sh shake me up. Amen. Amen. So he says, he says to us, don't worry. Mm -hmm. For your heavenly father knows, knows that you need these things. Mm -hmm. Not tangible things. Mm -hmm. But you need the things that are listed in the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. The things inside of you. You need faith. You need yes. endurance. You need perseverance. Yes. You need love. You need charitable. You need all of the things that God says that are in His kingdom. Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. A new perspective. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Your father knows that you need these things. Amen, amen, amen. He knows that you need a realignment. Amen. He knows that your spiritual GPS, when I was trying to get over here, said signal loss. <laughs> Come on, some of us have gotten out of touch. Amen, and amen. lost the signal and ended up driving amen. around in circles looking for the... Come on, you. I'm amen. telling you something. You're driving around amen. in circles amen. looking for the place. And if you could just get back online with God. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Well, thank he says, you. he says, mm. he says, your father knows that mm -hmm. you need all these things. Amen. And you're not going to get it from nowhere else yes. but God. That's true. Amen. This is why Jesus said, seek Ye first. first. That's right. Yes. Come, on Come on, preacher. Come the on, preacher. The kingdom. Yes. yes. That's in you. Greater is the kingdom.
that's in you than whatever is out here in the world. So first, look inside. Hallelujah. Inside yourself. Hallelujah. You need something, get up and do the work. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Don't you look for DHS to do it all. Don't you look for Social Security. I ain't telling y'all not. I'm not telling you to go quit. I'm just telling you what I'm telling you. The first thing you should look for is the kingdom of God within you. Because greater is the power. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by his spirit. Yes. And so look first to the spirit of God. And God, where do you want me to go today? And Amen. then he'll give you favor. Yeah. That the potholes will be full. He'll tell you, go around that street. Yes. You ain't got to go. If you seek first the kingdom, God will give you the direction that you need to go in and avoid the pothole. Come on now. Amen. So he says, he says, if you seek the kingdom first, yes. everything that you need mm -hmm. will be added to you. Mm -hmm. How do we get all of our needs met? Mm -hmm. Here's what the Bible says. God, mm -hmm. my God, will supply uh, all, all of your, your needs, needs That's right. according, according to his riches, his riches. Yes. That's right. in what? In glory. So how do you get what you need from God and leave the rest alone? Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. First, do that first. Hallelujah. Before you get mad, hallelujah, God. Yes. Before you get to cussing, come, come on, on, come on. We all redeemed. Amen. We done said some words. Don't try to act like that. But he's trying to tell you, discipline yourself to first seek the kingdom first glorify God and then everything that you need yes. will be added to you yes. Yes, yes. so you say hallelujah you say thank you Jesus thank you, you Jesus. be grateful you be thankful yes. you be loving you be you give grace to people you forgive their trespasses because they overstep their boundaries but you don't yes. know how many potholes they done hit they may just be out of alignment they didn't even mean to come all the way over there it's just the alignment is all messed up amen Hallelujah. They was pulling to the right. Amen. Did I make that alive for the men? The men no. know about that stuff. Okay. Amen. Amen. Give them grace. Amen. They hit a lot of potholes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, here's the thing. Uh huh. The last thing I'm going to tell you that Jesus tells us to get what we need to get from God and leave the rest alone. Mm -hmm. is remember that you can only live mm -hmm. today. Amen. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word says. <laughs> Worry robs you of your joy. Amen. Amen. It robs you of your love. It robs you of your peace. Amen. Because you so worried about what they said yesterday. Yes. And you so worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes. Jesus says, don't worry about that stuff because it's got enough trouble of its own. Amen. Wait till you get to tomorrow. My bishop said it like this one time. He said, don't make it a problem until it is one. Amen. 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 We turn molehills into mountains. Yes. For no Part reason. of it mm -hmm. is because we've hit too many potholes. Amen. Come on. Yeah. So that means even the smallest bump. Mm -hmm. We so loose. Get your alignment. Yes. That's right. Amen. Get back to God. Amen. Amen. Get what you need. Amen. Your purpose. Yes. Your joy. Yes. And here's the thing, not just you for yourself, mm. but for everybody that's in the kingdom. Yes. Don't be afraid to share how you came, overcame. Yes. So what's wrong with these kids? We have four. I'm just now. I'm, I'm, I'm Go ahead. You are right. We have four right. fights to this, this week. Mm. Seventh graders. Mm. 12, 13 years old. Now, I know they're going through their change. Mm -hmm. And they're emotional. they really emotional. I try to, I can't even talk to them sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to them on a 
40 year old level and they like huh what miss i'm like just you know what just go sit down <laughs> so, but what i'm trying to say is when, when 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 people have been through these things we got these all of these kids they're so emotional and they're so yeah. just so fragile and and they want to fight all the time and they want to do all of this kind of stuff and i'm just trying to tell them you really need to get peace you need to leave the rest of it alone just get what you need to get beat the level mm-hmm. beat the level they're gamers so i tell them you gotta beat the level you gotta get through this you gotta navigate this mm-hmm. you know and so it's just he said tomorrow having a oh well she she said she said this and she said that yesterday and she said this and i said who <laughs> i'm tired when did she say it? yesterday i said well why didn't you do anything about it yesterday uh-huh well tomorrow i'm a you don't even know if you're gonna make it but see they don't they don't got that yet you know when you get after a certain age you realize you got mm-hmm. more years behind you than Amen. you do in front so they're not there yet, but that comes from generation. Amen. Being taught yes. on how to handle yes. it. Amen. So we have to tell our testimony yes. so that people can get it yes. and realize that they ain't the only one going to hit a bottle. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> hey, God, that was right on. He said, he said, he said tomorrow mm-hmm. has enough trouble of its own. So if you want to get what God has for you, uh-huh. you got to get it right now. Amen. Start from now. Yes, amen. And don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And don't reflect and get stuck on yesterday. Amen. Get it right now. Right now. And leave the rest alone. So long. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 There it is on. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Come on, church. I told Satan, get me behind. Victory today is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Yes, it is. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Come on, church. I told Satan, get me behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Oh, joy is mine. Joy is mine. Hallelujah. Joy today is mine. Oh, I don't say now. Get me behind. Oh, joy today is mine. Love, love. Love is mine. Yes, it is. Love is mine. Hallelujah. But if you won't be aligned with God, you're going to keep doing 
doing the same thing and expect a different outcome, don't that mean you crazy? Amen. Amen. You got some issues and you need to get right with God. Amen. We want to thank God for this preacher. She done brought a word. She kind of summed it all up into this message today. Amen. Everything that we are doing, some of us are doing some wrong things because you've been hurt. Because you, yeah, you think what you're doing now going to solve the problem. Sin don't solve the problem. You can't have a sin problem and do sinful activities and expect the sin to go away. It is not going to go away. Community. Church folk, it is not going to go away. So what do you need to do? How do you get back, get right with God in the first place? We can, the only way we can is that we get aligned with God. How do we get aligned with God? We got to first accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And we got some Christian folk need to repent. And what does that word repent means? Change. Change what you've been doing. Hallelujah. Change your mindset. And only going to change your mindset if you ask God first to change your heart. Go to God. God, please change me. If the soul said, change me, oh God. Change me. I need a change, God. And I can change what's in my heart. So it's about my mouth preacher. My, my, my words are changed. And my words got power. So everything around me can change. Even my family can change. Hallelujah. The reason why some of the children can't make it, now they don't have a hard time, because their parents are still going on the same streets, hitting them same potholes. Amen. Taking the kids with you and the kids watching you, how you respond to when you hit the troubles of this life. But if you respond differently, show, show your kids how to talk to God. When things get troubled in your life, when your children get old, the neighborhood church folk, guess what happens? When your children see how you respond, we all want better for our children, right? All of us want better for our children. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren, nieces and nephews. But it first starts with us repenting and changing. Let them see that we change. We can't tell our children, you need to get your life together. When our lives ain't together. Amen. We got to be together with God, be in alignment. So then maybe what we're praying for, it'll be what God wants us to have. Amen. So therefore, we'll get what God got for us. And the rest we won't even worry about. Amen. Amen. So this is how we're going to do this tonight. So if you have yet, you've been hearing us all week. We've been inviting you to come on to Jesus. All you have to do, you've been in your living room, your bedroom, you've been in your cars, you've been on Facebook, you've been in the neighborhood, you've been trying to close the door, trying to put your fingers in your ears. But the word is still getting in anyway. And you and it's been bothering you. But but the deep down part of it is you know that the word has been right. Yes. And it's time for you to worry about right now. Right now. Tomorrow may not be promised. Where what would happen if you close your eyes and you never open them up again? And you died. Will you go to be with God tonight in heaven? Are you guaranteed? With how you're living, with your actions, with the words that you say, how you treat somebody, not how they treat you, but how you treat them. Are you sure that if you die tonight, that you will go on and be with the Lord? If you're not sure, it is time for you to come to Jesus. You need to come today. Come to know him today. You don't have to come here. You can start, if, if I, I've said this one time, but many times before, I met God in my living room, by myself in the dark, in the darkness of my sins. He can meet you right where you are. He can meet you right where you are. And he can change you right where you are. He can move the taste out of your mouth. He can remove the actions out of your heart. He can change how you think. He can change even where you go. But you got to let him do it and trust him. That's why we lean on our own understanding and all of our ways acknowledge him. And he'll direct you in everything. So this is what I need you to do. And if you've yet to give Jesus Christ your life and you're ready to give Christ your life, pray this prayer with me. Say, so Father God, here I am, a sinner. 
I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my Savior. I accept the fact that he died for my sins. And when he died for my sins, and he, he left my sins in the grave, when he rose up from the grave on the third day morning, which is Sunday morning, with all power in his hands, with all power in his hands, he left my sins down there. He paid the penalty for me. Hallelujah. So the good news is that he's still alive. God is not dead. He's still alive. Can you feel him, church? Can you feel him all over you? He is not dead. And say this, I know he's on his way back to come get me. Hallelujah. Do you want to be with him, church? I want to be with the Lord. If he come tonight, as the Bible said, Lord, come quickly, Jesus. Come quickly. Come quickly. He is on his way back, church. So, how we do this, St. Paul? It's not over. The revival ain't over till Sunday morning. So, you come in here on Sunday morning. Because not only just this, this Sunday week, our normal worship service is um, Sunday schools at 9.30. Morning worship is at 10.30. But we have baptism. Right this Sunday, right after Sunday school. And if you're in the community, even if you got saved, you could come on over. You can come while we baptize it. We'll baptize you while we're baptizing. Amen. You come on and give your life to Christ. If there's room in the water, there's room for you. Amen. We 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 as Deacon Nesbitt when I was talking earlier, Pastor, we like to baptize all day. We're gonna do it. Amen. Because we want to see you saved. And we want to pray that the Holy Ghost enters into your life so that you can get sanctified and live that sanctified life. Go through the process of sanctification, that change that you need. Amen. Amen. Give God to give God the glory right now. Hallelujah. Come on, cars. Hear the horns one more time. Amen. 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 So for those of you on Facebook, I need you to hit that share button. But if you are not going to anybody's church on Sunday, you see how I'm dressed? You can come on like this. Come on like this. Sometimes our deacons dress like this. Even the pastor. We are, we are here for God to change us into his image. We want to be in the image of God. We shall be like him. I want to be, that's my prayer. I want to be like him. Because here at St. Paul, we are not a perfect people. Amen, church. We are not a perfect people. But we serve a perfect God. We serve a perfect God. We serve a perfect God. Hallelujah. So make sure you show that and come on out anytime. If you late, you're going to be on time. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. May heaven smile upon you. Amen. God bless you. Give God another hand of praise.